Sandwich between Mazeroski Way and the Roberto Clemente Bridge. Welcome to PNC Park. MLB the show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the New York Yankees going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So, almost ready to get underway. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. What do you have on him? Well, you're going to see good velocity between the four-seam fastball and the cutter. Better be ready to hit. It's going to be fairly straight, but just because it's straight doesn't mean it's easy to get the barrel on it. Up to the plate steps D.J. LeMayhew. The third base D.J. LeMayhew. The wind of the pitch. And that's off that's inside. the inside edge. And that's how this game gets started. Hard ground ball, base knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. He was all over that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Here is Aaron Judge. Up and in, and that's ball one. We all know Yankee Stadium is a great place for Judge to hit home runs. In fact, his coaches joke and say he can sneeze one out to right. Well, the scary part is it might be true. Kicks and deals. That's Off the ball. mark there. Now 2 0. Oh. Yeah. The judge takes a strike. Swinski settles under this one, hauls it in, and there's one away. Throw, and it gets away. Third, the right field. Here's a look at Aaron Boone's lineup for the Yankees. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but... They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. At the belt and fires. Fought off foul. And the right hander deals. One ball. And he dodges Two that straight. fastball. Straighten him up a little bit. The pitch. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. The throw is still in time. He keeps his composure, and they get the out. Great job by the second baseman right there. Quick reaction to dive, knock that ball down, and big leaguers just don't panic, not the good ones. He gets up, makes the play, really good throw over to first base. That's the kind of composure that you want to see from a guy in that position. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch, just misses. Boots it. But they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. The Yanks leave one, 
And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here in Pittsburgh. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Carlos Rodon. What should we keep an eye on here? Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way. Because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will beat them. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. The pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Rodon ready. Here it comes. Oh. Foul ball still a one and two count. Back to right. Fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Not in time. It's a double. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Brian Reynolds here. Check hey. swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Oh, and one. Man at second. This one high in the air to left center. Verdugo gets under it. And there's one away. That is good. The third baseman. There's a Pirates lineup now. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. One out and a runner at second. And one that one. one almost hit him. And he deals. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Verdugo sizing this one up. They got it for out number two. Batting four. The designated hitter, Andrew. McCutcheon. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. That one catches the corner for a strike. Cruz on its second with two down. Pitch misses. And that is ball one. And now the lefty. And now two balls and a strike. Ground ball to the right side. And it goes just foul. Runner at second, two down. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. And he won around. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. We head to the second from PNC Park. No score. And we're back. And now Anthony Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. Keller back to work. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. We 
wouldn't chase that time. Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. And delivers outside. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. The line of the pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Payoff pitch. That's the third. Sends it across oh. the first and quickly one away in the second. The second baseman. Labor Torres up to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Off the plate, ball one. That That's one missed. Just off the inside edge. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Aye. And a strike to Glaber. Three, two. one out to right and it drops in so a man aboard now with one away well patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count but the way defenders track down balls these days I mean both from the infield and in the outfield there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that but labor goes swing and a miss Bro, save that's a stolen base you know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Oh. Next pitch misses. One and one. One out and a runner at second. Here at the top of the second. Hey. A big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Hits the top of the wall. In comes the first run of the game. It's 1-0 Yankees. Comes through with the RBI. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but... That's a swing you'll be happy with every time. One out, runner at second. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Just yep. off the Anthony inside Brown. edge. And the 1-0. -oh. Ball, that's Strike one. Two one. Runner at second here, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. In the air to left center, Taylor sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on that one. Two way down. Got it up. The catcher, Austin Wells. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees.
And it immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Around third. Now a long throw home. He'll score. And they take a two-run lead. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside. But that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. And that one lifted in the air center field. Taylor makes the grab, and that's the third out. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Yankees two, and the Pirates nothing. Back here at PNC Park, stepping in, Jack Sawinski. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Right through there for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. Left-hand batter waits. Ball, that's out. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit Three. of illusion at the end. Got him. And now one away. Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. And that's a strike. You won. That's a little bit low. One oh. Lifted in the air down the left side, and that'll fall for a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Just a blue hit behind third right there, and that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to, and the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Foul ball there. Rodon sets and deals. One ball, one strike. And a curve misses outside. Rodon fires. Ball up there. Just mm -hmm. missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And he walked him. Perfect. Batting it. The center fielder. So up next, Michael A. Taylor. And that one is in for a strike.
tying run is at first. Bottom half of inning number two. One ball, one in the second. dirt. Tag safe. He's in the third of the wild pitch. out of the stretch runners at first nope, and third the ball. pitch misses there and it's two and one tough spot right here a couple runners on two ball count you can't nibble but you have to execute and finish your pitch if you leave something out over the plate it's going to bring in some runs that smacked on a line to center they get their base hit in the score from third it's two one and he starts his afternoon off right with a double his confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Leover Peguero, the next pirate to hit. Golden opportunity right here. And a base hit on the line. One runs in. A second scores as well. 3-2, they take the lead. And that's a double. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. So the lineup flips over. Up next for the Pirates, O'Neill Cruz. In the air, left field. Verdugo gets under it, squeezes it, two away. The left fielder, number 10, Brian Reynolds. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Brian Reynolds. Fly to left his first time. Way oh, high no, with no that strike. one. Ball one. Upstairs. Nope. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Good hitters count the 2-0. Oh, Just right missed. Key Brian Hayes. Next to bat for the box. See if he gives him anything to hit here. Ball and ball four to a board. So here we go again with the walks. It's been now a real that struggle that finding the zone for him in the past. Now, now yeah. even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Now batting key Brian Hayes. He's 0 for 1. There's a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Oh, one down. And that one fouled off. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Kicks and fires. One ball. Two In strikes. the dirt. No movement on the bases. One and two the count. First and second. Two down. And yeah, there's a ball. And here it comes. Look out! And it hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Now and now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Went down on strikes his first time through. McCutcheon. 
Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Soto gets under it. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. On to the third inning. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge. The wind and the pitch. Judge enjoyed success at the Major League level right away. He hit 52 home runs as a rookie, breaking Mark McGuire's record and became the first Yankee to win Rookie of the Year since some guy named Derek Jeter. The 1-1. And right back to the mound. The throw to first, leadoff hitter gone in the third. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Here's Juan Soto, rolled out to second in his first at bat. And that's outside, and it's Juan to know. And another ball. That one a little bit high. And now 3-0. and oh. One out. Base is empty. Liner. Base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Nope. A little bit high. And that's ball nope. one. Right-hander kicks deals ball and two. downstairs. Two ball, no strike. And ball that one off the outside edge. A rare three-ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. There's a strike, and now three and a one. The Pirates leading by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Three one and he couldn't come up with it. Well interesting he went with the off speed now, now. and walked the hitter man you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Fouled off. He was late. One ball. Two strikes. Squirts away a little bit. Runners hold tight. It's a ball and two strikes. Soto, the lead runner out at second. Stanton at first, one gone. The one two. Chases that one out of the zone and two away now. Here is Glaber Torres. Singled and scored his first time. And that's in for a strike. Here's a tapper towards short. 
They get the force, and that is the inning. Yanks strand a pair. They trail it 3 2. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, Jack Sawinski. And a pitch. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. Next offering way off the plate. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Next offering is in for a strike. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Now one away. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit to the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Henry Davis, the next pirate to hit. Just missed. One down, base is empty. Aye. And that one fouled off. He gets there with the slide. Throw to first, and that's a great play for the out. Now batting. First baseman, Rowdy Teller. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Rowdy Telez. The walk and a run scored his first time. And he'll one. And that one wrapped foul. Ball. Next offering is down low. Ball, two strikes, account. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Three. Got him looking. And the Pirates go one, two, three. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh, but they still lead it three, two. Back here in Pittsburgh, start of the fourth. Now here is Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Ooh, one really cool moment I remember at PNC Park is the 2006 Home Run Derby during All-Star Weekend. Hey. David Ortiz and Ryan Howard oh, each hit homers into the Allegheny River on the fly. Really awesome to watch. Ball, Ball one there. One and one. Hey. Late on that fastball. One ball, two strikes. The one, two. Hit in the air, right field. Sawinski drifts towards it. And out number one on the grab. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And next for New York, Anthony Volpe. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Next pitch, not close, up high. Hey. And that one clips the corner. Hey. 
That's Next ball offering three. upstairs. Three balls, one strike. Right through there for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Good plate nope. appearance there. Four, four. Able to take the walk. You know, Boog, it's been said, these guys are savages in oh, the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Austin Wells. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Pickoff throw, no, he's and he's back in safely. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. Volpe, the base runner at first with one out. Way That's high. That misses. And that's ball three. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Right. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Back to the top of the Yankee order. And now it's D.J. LeMayhew digging in. That one fouled off. Up and in, and the count is one and one. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks oh, for second. Down. There's the ball. Go to second. Yeah. Out there. And the inning is over. The catcher definitely looked ready for that stolen base attempt. Got in position quickly. And a strike down the second base to end the inning. Back here with my pal Singy, John Chomby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Michael A. Taylor. Rodone back to work. That one missing inside. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That one's carrying. And out of here. They must be going crazy in the dugout. It's 4 2. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin buried it out of here. So digging in, Leover Paguero. He swings and fouls one off. What makes him special is a lot of pitchers lose movement in their stuff the deeper they go into a game, but he's just different. We see plenty of break in his pitches, even when he's running a little low in the tank. And That's now the ball. count is even. Action in the pen down there. Luke Weaver getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. The 
the pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And he deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. This one smoked out to left. Verdugo makes the catch. And there's one down. Up next to the Not shortstop. So the Pirates batting order turns over. And now the Pirates leadoff man. O'Neill Cruz. One for two. Swung on. Belted. That's not coming back. A massive home run. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 5 2. We take another look as StatCast tells us that ball took off at 110 miles an hour. And plenty of distance as well. I mean, that was an impressive home run, though. He squared it up and knew it was gone. Now the number two hitter, Ryan Reynolds. That one in there across the letters. Two runs across in the inning. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Foul ball. The pitch. That's Just the misses with that one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Two outs, base is empty. Keep Ryan Hayes, the next pirate to hit. That's in for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. Now one and one. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Two down, nobody on. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And Aaron makes a nice grab out there. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now 5-2. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. Leading we go to the top game. of the fifth. Here's the, the Yankees leadoff hitter, DJ LeMayhew. LeMayhew. The right-hander back to work. And oh, a good what? eye there. Well, the offense has gotten going, and a pitcher wants to go out there, have a real quick inning, get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. The 1-0. Inside, ball two. You know, these Yankees doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive Aye. side. The numbers tell us they're averaging more than a hit every inning, and they've only struck out twice, so they keep finding ways to put their bat on the Aye. ball. And a swing and a miss there. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. The center fielder, number nine. Aaron Judge at the plate. Judge. It's in and out of his glove. But he wins He's the out. foot race to first. 
good job of knowing how much time he had there. Juan Soto now. Next offering is fouled back. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. One and ball. that skips Two in the three. dirt. Next ball pitch three. is downstairs. Great Two job ball. of laying Two off three. those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at 2 and 2. Such a better feeling for the hitter. 2-2 Two -two now. Out towards right center. That's well struck. Way back there. Say goodbye to that one. And they close the gap. It's 5-3. You almost feel bad for the baseball when Juan Soto hits it. His swing is so powerful. There was a sinker up in the zone. It looked like it came out of the pitcher's hand a little bit too early. Doesn't have the velocity that that good four-seam fastball does. And at the plate, he didn't miss it. Base is empty with two away. And now it's Giancarlo Stanton. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. In the air, out towards left center. Reaching for it, makes the catch. <laughs> Yankees get a homer to cut the lead. It's now 5-3. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Luke Weaver. So at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings and a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And stepping in is the speedy Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. And a pitch. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. You know, these Pirates, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner yeah, when... But two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Hard right, grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a man aboard now with one away. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Davis in the box now. No balls in a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Whoa. Next pitch downstairs. Now one, one and two. two strikes, Wouldn't chase that time. And 
And another ball. Right through there, got him. Two out. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third, and that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit in, and he couldn't pull the trigger. And now it's Rowdy Telez. A strikeout and a walk. Weaver picks the first. Sawinski dives back in safely. Just missed. Sawinski off the of first with two away. Two outs. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. LeMayhew drifts towards it. Reaches over the wall. And he's got it. Pirates leave one. Then it remains 5-3. Top of the sixth inning. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. And a pitch. Ball one, oh. one, no strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Carmen Majinski up and throwing. Hernandez warming up as well. Righty delivers. Hey. And that's inside off ball the ball. inside edge. And a count two and one. And this is inside. Ball set to throw pitch number 100. He needs a quick inning here if he's going to be able to make it through six complete. No, and there's ball four. Pitch count's getting up there now. And not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. Now this team is definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. And the righty deals. Splits the plate. One and two. And Glaber takes outside. Here comes a pitch. This one in the air right field. Sawinski moving under it. Puts it away for the out. Now batter, left fielder, Alec Rodrigo. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Mitch Keller done for the day. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout, and we'll be back with a new pitcher. On the mound now for the Pirates, Roansi Contreras. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of them right here to get some critical outs. Here's Alex Verdugo. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Gets the outside corner with that one. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tall for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Righty to the plate. They say you win. Hit on the ground might be two. Fired to second. Over to first, safe. Here's the shortstop at the play. Anthony Volpe. Ah. 
And he pumps it a strike. And a foul ball. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. Third out. So a job well done from the Buckos bullpen. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Pirates five and the Yankees three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Weaver back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And the pitch gets a piece and it stays 0 2. Also, really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time, gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first leadoff man retired in the sixth. Now batting second baseman, Lee Over Paguero. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Lee Over Paguero. Top of the zone for a strike. And it's 0-1. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. And that one upstairs. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, to look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Oh, that's low. That one just misses. It's a good take. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Nice grab on the run. Out number two. Now batting. Shortstop. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He's already homered here in this one. There's the strike. The shortstop takes a ball. Rip towards third, jump throw. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Back here in Pittsburgh, and now the catcher comes up to him. Austin Wells. The Yankees looking to rally. A wide to kick the pitch. And a strike in there. And there's a foul ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. So the batting order turns over. Here's D.J. LeMayhew. Out to short, Cruz. Zips it to oh. first. Two up, two down. The center fielder, number 99, Aaron 
Judge. Here comes Aaron Judge. Well, he's always a threat. Even if this guy is 0 for 3 for the night with three strikeouts, he can come up that fourth time and do damage because he's that good. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. The Pirates leading by two here in the top half of inning number seven. Got it by him for the K. Down in order, go to Yankees. Still a two run deficit. It's 5 3. Back here at PNC Park, bottom of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Brian Reynolds. The pitch. Fastball in for a strike. 0 and 1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0 0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. That one misses. And it's one and two. Excellent one arm action two on that strike. two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. That one ripped right center field. Way back there. Gone. A gigantic blast. And they add a run. It's 6 3. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. With this pitcher's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Brian Hayes, the next pirate to hit. Inside just missed. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And another ball. Weaver. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Now Next is the Pirates DH, Andrew, Andrew McCutcheon. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? No, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. Makes the catch. One down. Now batting right fielder. Next to hit, Jack Sawinski. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Right handed reliever. Ball one. Man at first, one away. Swings and misses. And one the count ball. one and two. two Kicks and deals. And Next that's in. off the inside edge. Two and two.
at the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. And another ball. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Henry Davis, the next Pirate to hit. Just missed. One run across in the frame so far. Here at the bottom of the seven. Next pitch inside. Two balls, no strikes. Two outs. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. The 2 1. Out to short. Over to Torres. That's the third out. Pirates tack on one more on the solo home run. It's now 6 3. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Aroldis Chapman. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. And a pitch. Soto, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Kicks and fires. Foul ball there. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats, try to chip away at that lead, because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Just oh, off it. the inside edge. Right through there for a strike. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. That misses the zone. Three and two now. Swings through it and that's a strikeout. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. Rip to right, base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And a strike right through there. That one, a triple digits. pitch swing and a miss and 102 on the radar gun this one in the air 
to Les. Makes the grab. Two down. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Here's Glaber Torres. Here's a run nope. scoring That's opportunity. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, you get a lockdown closer ready to come in. Hey. That pitch in for a strike. And a count even at one. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Lefty continues to work with the closer getting loose in the bullpen. And a ball yep. evens the count. Two outs. Helpful. Three two two out runner on first a lot of movement in the infield hitters got to stay focused on the pitch Alex Verdugo waiting to hit for the Yankees. Three. Some heat there at ninety eight miles an hour one left for the Yankees and they're still doubled up it's six to three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Tommy Canely. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And here is Rowdy Telez. The first baseman, Rowdy And here it comes. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Ball one, no strike. Gets the call and the count even one and one. Gets him to chase after that one. One ball, two strikes. Got him swinging. Michael A. Taylor, the next pirate to hit. He's already homered in this game. And there's the strike. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Victor Gonzalez, the southpaw, is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in. And the right hander deals. Fought off foul. Ball and one. that's downstairs and outside. One ball, two strikes to count. He goes down looking. The bat. Two Second outs, base is empty. Leover Paguero, the next pirate to hit. High in the air, out to right. Soto gets under it, makes the grab, and that'll do it. Three up, three down for him there. Ninth inning coming up. It's the Pirates six, and the Yankees three. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, David Bednar. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. And a pitch. 
And first offering is fouled off. And he deals. I got one ball, one strike. And now two and one after that missed inside. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And it's three and two. And that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. They're not ready to go home quite yet. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. First pitch misses. And a foul ball. The shortstop takes the ball. Righty delivers. Out off the plate, they'll do it again. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count off at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. First offering is fouled off. Ground ball left side and foul ball. Here's the 0-2. And one ball, ball one. Two strikes. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. Left-hand hitter waits. Bows it off, still one and two. Nope. Just outside. off the outside part of the plate. And they'll do it again. The 2-2. Two -two. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And that one is lifted in the air. Reynolds sizing this one up. Falls it in for the out. Now he launches a throw over his head. The battle, the third baseman, DJ. So last chance for the Yankees. Now it's LeMahieu up to hit. Aye. That one finds the zone. Strike one. This one high in the air to left center. And that should be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Around third. He scores, and it's now a two-run game. 
Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Got a good pitch to drive, stayed short with his bat path to the ball and caught it out front, and he stayed long in his follow through. That's how you split the gap, and that's pretty much a double every time. Holderman. Now, these are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Yeah, the hard throwing righty trying to secure these outs against a potent Yankee lineup, but it starts with Aaron Judge. A little bit high, maybe. And that is ball one. Tying run at the plate. Ball, that's outside. Ball, Just that's missed. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. The tying run at the plate. And Judge spoils that one. The pitch. And he can't come up with it. On the first, ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long 